we all have mental health it is just as important as physical health hi everyone welcome back to another informative video it is not only about mental illness or mental disorders this is just one part of a bigger picture it's best to think about mental health as being on a continuum rather than people being either mentally ill or mentally well we are all on the continuum and we move up and down according to factors such as our genetic makeup and upbringing our life circumstances and the stresses we are under but one end of the continuum we have mental disorders like anxiety or depression and at the other end we have states of positive mental health when we are thriving the contempt and fulfill the aim of mental health interventions is to move people up the continuum so that they are able to reach the full potential and live satisfying lives The World Health Organization describes mental health as a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and effectively, and is able to contribute to his or her community. Being mentally healthy means being flexible and able to cope with the difficult times, feeling in control, being confident. feeling good about yourself managing and expressing your emotions building and maintain good relationships we all experience periods where we will feel stressed worried afraid sad or angry these are all normal emotions however when these emotions become severe enough that it can interferes with the person's ability to function daily and these feelings become constant over time then it can develop into a mental health problem there are many different types of mental disorders when left untreated mental disorders can be chronic and long lasting and are associated with increased disability they significantly have an impact on daily functioning and often interfere with family social and work responsibilities fortunately there are effective treatments and evidence based interventions available aimed to help individuals understand and cope with the symptoms of mental illness however very few people with the mental disorders access existing treatment services this may be due to the barriers such as the stigma attached to seeking help the lack of understanding of mental health problems and how to get help or the fear of disclosing mental health problems study suggests that stigma remains one of the biggest factors preventing people for seeking help early for their mental health problems and getting the appropriate support they need it is important to acknowledge that we all have mental health and have a personal responsibility to learn how we can improve and maintain our well-being to live meaningful and satisfying lives if you like this information share it with your friends and family thanks for watching this video